Charlotte, North Carolina, are we having fun tonight or what? Hot, damn, the energy's high tonight. Here we go. Finally right, got another red corner out of combat at the Knoxville, North Carolina. Out of the 170 pound weight class, please no welcome Christian Garage. Fighting out of the blue corner, out of Carolina Combat MMA, out of Indian Trail, North Carolina. Trey Trey Rhodes looking very much ready to enter this cage right now. That was not the right fighter pick. <laughs> that was a pick of Mike Hunter. I was like, whoa, wait a second. That looks like Mike Hunter's twin brother. That was just straight up Mike Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like that point you don't want to say anything just in case it's, it's, it's I know. I was like, you know what? I'll wait till I see him walking down the ramp. Carolina Combat Sports first task here tonight in the adults. They had Willow Lyles, of course, earlier tonight. Brian Battle in the corner. Tom Ziegler, one of the best MMA coaches in the world today. One of the most underrated guys. What he's been able to do with Brian Battle, not just Brian, Shamik Harvey. He's got Jonathan Martin out of there. That is definitely a school to keep your eye on. Not just around here. If you live around here, you already know these guys. I'm talking to you, uh, people watching this scouting from the UFC. I'm talking to you, Nick Maynard. I'm talking to everyone in the nation. Watch out for Carolina Combat Sports. I mean, the level of skill in the Carolinas right now is is unsurpassed. Look at what we're doing in bare knuckle. Exactly. We're dominating exactly. bare knuckle, which is insane. Double but also, fought last night. people from South Carolina are built for bare knuckle. You know, like we're they're a little we're a little different. You know, so yeah. I, I'm just gonna say. And, and Doug Coltrane from yeah. Joko, so and, everybody and we, knows. Yeah, I mean, we're born with a little bit of brain damage already, so you know, we're ready to get a little more. Yeah, Carolina is really on the map right now in all combat sports. Trey Rhodes going head to head with Christian Grubbs, the debut from Combat Athletics. See if Trey Rhodes is hungry for that win. Oh, Big beautiful. shot from Rhodes right off beautiful. the break. Beautiful southpaw jab straight to the face. Oh, and Rhodes and is looking in, to double leg, gets locks, his hands locked up. Locks those hands and it's good night. And that's where CCS is the best. They're the best against the cage wall. If, yeah. there's a, if there's a place you don't want to be against one of these guys, it's right here, personally. And that's where Trey said, I am not going out without a fight. He's trying to rebound off of that last loss. Uh, Grubbs is able to lock up his guard around him, though, but these heavy shots. Oh, looks like he's trying to climb over top for a triangle attempt. He's trying to grab the foot. Oh, he's yeah. nice in that oh, high guard. And falls down. Not quite a slam, but definitely makes an impact nonetheless. Yeah, now he's in uh, what some people call dope mount. Or nope, nope, that's a half guard. It's facing the wrong way. Yeah, he's almost uh, in a leg drag position, but he's yeah. got his leg over the bottom leg as well. So it's very interesting. It's it's tough for the bottom guy, though. Your oh, hips, yeah, your you're hips twisted. Are, you're twisted. Your hips here. are pretty dead here. And then if you can really get that right arm underneath his head in a cross face, I'll have him looking one way, his hips going the other way. There's just no way you can get out of it once that's locked in. Uh, 
Grubbs uh, trying in desperation to hold on to the head to prevent Rhodes from being able to posture up and throw heavier hands. Just landing heavy shots to the outside ribs right now. And again, Grubbs uh, un unrelinquishing on that head because he knows that he's in for a bad time if Rhodes can pop, pop that free. I don't know if Rhodes even realizes he has a leg drag position from here because this is one of my favorite spots to be in for grappling. As a top person, yeah, Oh for yeah, sure. no, no, no. If I'm on the bottom, which usually happens when I'm grappling John, I um, hold in the tears. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful body shots from here. Rhodes is really peppering him here. Yeah. He's trying to get him to let, let off that squeeze on the leg a little bit. You can just see that bottom foot. It's almost like he's heel hooking himself. He's he's locking that triangle so tight. Ah, uh, there he goes. Yep. He finally lets go and now. Probably had to because of the pressure on the knee. Yeah. And, uh, and look, he's trying to get a Kosoto hook on this side to bring back that, that guard even. Yeah, oh man, my knees 100% um, oh, could not handle that. He pulled that in. He pulled that in. He, he's trying to get him to leg yeah. drag. Oh, and then uh, Rhodes hitting knees to the same spot he was throwing strikes on. And you could see it starting to welt man. up there on the side of Grubbs. I know you know Anish. Uh, Anish hit a running knee to the body in a Sambo fight against the guy. And it was one of those brutal things I've ever seen. And now my mind And he's on pointy. My, my, yeah, exactly. He's sharp. Uh, physically sharp. Uh, my whole mindset on knees to the body on the ground have changed after seeing that. I'm like, yes, knee him in the body. <laughs> it's a better strike than, than you could produce with your fist on the ground for sure. Oh, I agree. It's one of my favorite things to do. I also, you know, small pointy knees. But Grubbs, I know that tomorrow that spot on Grubbs' body, if it doesn't bruise up terribly, he, it is going to be so such a deep internal bruise. He will feel that every time he takes a deep breath, coughs and sneezes. Um, Grubbs is having to force his eye open too. He's trying to, he's, he's doing this, he's like holding it open. It, want, it wants to close. Yeah, he took, took quite the onslaught there. And that, that was probably from that, that uh, first jab. That first jab. I mean, honestly, if the game plan, if the game plan was to drag him to the ground and suffocate him, Trey executed it perfectly. Otherwise, I'd say just stand up and strike with him again because you clearly hurt him on the feet. Definitely, and I'm, I'm not sure if Grubbs kind of knew what to do versus the southpaw there. Um, seemed a little bit confused with the way his feet should be placed so that he wasn't in danger of those hands. And looks looks pr pretty defeated after that first round, so see if he can come back. Like Dylan said, he's, he's having a, some facial twitching with the eye there. And Grubbs throws a half-hearted kick to the body that Rose just catches and then drags him to the mat yet again. Ends up in the closed guard right in front of us. Uh, very repetitive the first round here. And again, just hitting that same spot on the left side, which is Rhodes' power hand as he is a southpaw. So that is gonna be his strong side. I love what he's doing here, trying to push the face down. Grubbs almost getting his knee in his own face. Grubbs has a uh, body triangle in the closed guard on Rhodes, which not ideal in MMA because you're just kind of locking the person to your body. Uh, you can prevent them from posturing up to hit heavy strikes, but it's not going to stop it too much. He's doing the right thing here now, trying to get his back against the cage and butt scoot back to hopefully shimmy upward. but. Rhodes is doing an excellent job of just trying to keep him flat. Yeah, and, and you see how these CCS guys, they're so good at getting the fight where they want it to be. And they always want it to play out like right here in front of this fence line. And, and especially like this, it's right in front of the corner. Yeah, that's ideal because you can hear everything your coaches are saying to you. Landing some good uh, shots in, in the little spaces that he sees here. Man, that that Ooh. one spot is, 
Look at the, the red noose forming on Grubbs' body right there. Oh. That's, that's, oof, that's gonna be sore. Christian Grubbs, welcome to the MMA. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know if this goes into the third round, you know uh, Grubbs' corner is really going to be hammering home. Uh, he cannot allow himself to be dragged to the mat oh, with his back against the cage. Here. Yeah, getting getting on his right hip to try and keep that arm isolated. It's going to be so hard against a strong guy like this when you're this sweaty, and when, when you can use strikes to uh, intelligently defend yourself as well. Good switch there by Trey Rhodes. You know, if Grubbs can actually get out on his left hip and get on uh, to the opposite side of Rhodes' body here, he could possibly look for that arm again. And now Rhodes is standing all the way up. Bad spot to be, but it looks like he will survive into the third round. Christian Grubbs went through an absolute meat grinder in that round but he's still here and still has another round ahead of him. And I don't think he can do another round of that. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> I would say, I mean, and you, can, you can see the look on his face right now too. He knows that that's not, that was not ideal. towards the latter half of this amateur undercard for MMA before venturing into the pros. Still three amateur title fights coming your way here too. A lot of action left here at Fight For It. You know, title fights means more time in the cage if it goes that far. This one looks like it might be our first fight of the night that uh, goes the distance. Very, very possible. I'd almost feel bad about myself. I'd be like, man, everybody <laughs> else not finishes. I actually, I, I mean, always hated winning by decision. Trey came very close to finishing this fight a few times now. Yeah, and looked success with the hands right into a shot. I'd almost keep it standing though, you know? He was doing so well. I and then the, again, I think this is the game plan. Drags him to the ground. Well, he's, he's found it three the, times now. He's executing the game plan, yeah. And uh, Grubbs can't seem to find his way back up to the feet. Again, he's trying to hip much, on the side. A much better the look here. Because he's actually blocking with his bottom knee. So it's going to be harder for Rhodes to reach in and grab his own thigh. So this actually is a better look, but just not quite enough. In MMA, it's so hard. And some elbows to the body there from Rhodes. He's trying to basically crawl his way to that mount. Stuck in half guard right now, but I mean the wear and tear on Grubbs has got to be, you know, picking him apart at this point. He's just chipping away at it. Oh, some heavy hands right here. This could be it. Grubbs scrambling to avoid that onslaught. But he may leave himself vulnerable, and he does leave himself vulnerable to a pass here. He had to give up that pass because he was, was about to get or, finished. Yeah. And uh, let's see if uh, Rhodes decides to go back to that. He had to have been very close to getting a stoppage. Wayne, Wayne has been particularly conservative tonight with the with the stoppages. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a, if uh, Rhodes is going to have to put in that extra effort to get it done here. And in this position, it looks very likely. We've got Grubbs just covering up, not doing much, and there it is. Trey Rhodes picks up the finish in round number three, and it was just too much of the same old song. Every round was a beat down. Every round Ooh. was a meat grinder. Blood is pouring out of the nose of Grubbs. He stood up and it just ripped right out. Wayne, looks like Wayne stopped that one right on the money, huh? Yep. Oh, it looks like maybe it was just one blood clot that just fell out. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> well, that made nine MMA fights, and nine, nine finishes. finishes. Are you a betting man, Dylan? Um, 
I would bet if that's going to stop being the case, it'll probably be in these three title fights. The skill level in these three title fights is very high on both sides. I feel like a finish is pretty unlikely in those types of scenarios, but I would love for this to go all finishes. I'd love nothing more than to be wrong. I'd say that's a pretty all uh, intelligent All right, fighters guess. to the center of the ring. Your winner by referee stoppage, two to strikes, fighting out of Carolina Combat, Trey Rhodes. Trey Rhodes picks up the win to make his record now an even one and one. You gotta feel good after your first loss to put on such a dominant, one-sided performance. And it was dominant. Bell to Look bell. at that, holding that fight for 17 Bud Light trophy. Artist Rozak from iHeartRadio. Thanks to Bud Light. Thanks to Planet Kia. Thanks to the United States Marine Corps. We have one more fight, and then we're into the title matches. 